linearly dependent oblique independent vectors. Here we have a question which says show that all the three vectors are coplanar. So we are given three vectors here x, y and z and you need to show that they are coplanar. Now these vectors are coplanar if we can write one vector in terms of other two then they are coplanar. So what I'm trying to say is that if you can write y as a linear combination of let us say x and z say a times x plus b times z in that case they are in the same plane and they become coplanar correct so let's try to do this so y for us is so i'll use column matrix here minus 9 2 and 9 and a times x is minus 6 8 and 2 plus b times z is minus 9, 3, and 12, right? So from here, we can form three different equations. And our equations are minus 9 equals 2 minus 6a minus 9b. Now this we can simplify, right? You can divide by 3, and if you do that, then you get 3 times 3 is 9, so minus 3 is equals to minus 2a minus 3b, right? So let's name this equation, and let's write this equation as equation 1. Now, the second equation could be 2 equals to 8 times 8, which is 8a, plus 3b. So we'll call this equation as equation 2. And now let's write down the third equation, which is 9 is equal to 2a plus 12b. We'll call this as equation 3. So we have three equations and three variables. So we can find three variables using these equations. Now if you observe equation 1 and 3, we have minus 2 and plus 2a. Adding them will eliminate a, right? So let's solve it. Let me do it on this side. So we have here equation 1 is minus 3 equals to minus 2a minus 3b. That is equation 1. And equation 3 is 9 equals to 2a plus 12b, right? Now if I add these two, then what do I get? So adding these two, I get 6 equals to this is 0 and that makes it 9b so in a way b is equals to 6 over 9 or it is equals to if i divide by 3 i get 2 over 3 now we get b as 2 over 3 so we can substitute this value in one of these equations for b and find what a is so i'll prefer to use equation 1 it's simpler right so let's call this for the time being equation 4. So using equation 4 and equation 1, we can find the value of A, right? So now equation 1 is minus 3 equals to minus 2 times A minus 3 times B value is 2 over 3. So let me write down 2 over 3 here. Now that gives us minus 3 equals to minus 2A and 3 divided by 3 is 1 minus 2 or minus 2a equals 2 minus 3 plus 2 and that is minus 1 divided by minus 2 and that gives us the value of a as equals to minus half right so if I have a as minus half then plus half yeah so minus 3 is minus 1 divided by minus 2 will give you plus half, right? Now, so A is plus half for us. And therefore, I can write down my solution that Y, Y here is equals to, the vector Y, equals to half of A, I mean A is half, half of X, and the B value was 2 over 3. So we write plus 2 over 3 of z. So that is the combination which you get for y. So y can be written as a linear combination of other two vectors x and z. Since it can be written, 
we say it's coplanar. So all the three are coplanar, right? So that is how you prove they are coplanar. Now here is a question for you. The question for you is, are these three vectors dependent or independent? So the question here for you is, are the vectors x, y, and z dependent or independent? So you need to answer this question. So what do you understand by dependent or independent vectors? This is what is one question and second question is, let me write question one and question two, right? Can they form, can they span, let me write, in R3? So these are the two questions for you to answer, right? So you should understand when we have coplanar vectors, then are they dependent or they are independent? Second question is, can they span in R3, right? So this is what you have to write. And I, let me add one more question to this, is uh, can they span any other plane, right? Or what can they span, right? So think about, it. can they span in R3 or the or can they span any other plane? So like this, you should think about it. That will give you more depth to this subject and that is kind of required at this stage. Thank you.